Stop apologizing for what you want hello, beautiful humans. We are here now to take into account what is going on for you and to reflect that back to you, so that, you might know yourself more fully and to share with you what is changing for us, as a result of what is changing for you. We see you as divine frequencies unfolding in a time-space reality, replicas of your energy structure. Like you would see a fractal image, unfolding perfect copies of itself infinitely, we see you in time-space giving unique flavor and choice of focus to the variations of your energy that arise from your expression and flow. It is with this vision of you in our sights that we remind you, you are a perfect replica of your wholeness in this human body. You may feel at odds with certain circumstances in your life, but that does not change the essence within you. You are a perfect replica of your frequencies, here. In your turning inwards and tuning to your vastness intentionally, you realize this more fully, and it gives you a profound sense of joy. You don't always know how to sustain this knowing, but you are more and more often in your knowing and specifically in your knowing about you. Being in your knowing about you is a magnificent thing isn't it? We think so. So, as this idea about who you are, is opening up for you, it is easier to be uplifted. It is easier to feel expansive. It is easier to feel free. This is because as you think of yourself as you are, what you are becomes available to you as consciousness. The essence that is you is able. You are capable and free and masterful and robustly alive, and when you see you in a more accurate fashion, those capacities flow forth. So in your lives, the question that would benefit you most right now is to ask yourself this, how do I want to know myself, right now? Do you want to know yourself as creative? Do you want to know yourself as abundant? Do you want to know yourself as fulfilled? Do you want to know yourself as expansive? Do you want to know yourself as optimistic and cheerful? How do you wish to know yourself, right here, right now? We are aware that you may think this is some mental exercise, but it's not. Not at all. It's a means of changing your state of being on the spot. If you were to think about why you want to know yourself as creative, as abundant, and focus on what you want of that your energy will resonate with that. Do not focus on what that will fix, just focus on what it is you want. What are you looking forward to? What is within that experience that calls to you? If you focus upon what you are summoning and let it feel good to you because of why you want it, then as it feels good to you, you resonate with it. When you feel superb, get more specific about what you'd like in that experience, embellishing and adding to it. Doing this, you will be lifted up on an ascending current that gives you elation. A current that is always within you but you are tuning to by choosing within, to know you, in new ways, ways that genuinely appeal to you. Having fun and discovering yourself through creating and expressing is what the world is emerging into. The world is developing into a realm of focus for knowing yourself more fully as powerful creators and enjoying your ever-expanding capacities. The world is on the brink of a renaissance of unprecedented proliferation and expansion. You are the ones that are going to do this. You are the ones who are going to find out that you can change your life here and now, into a flow of dynamic aliveness. Once you forget thinking about how to go from here to there and just go there. Leap into what you want. Don't build a bridge, just withdraw attention from one and move into the new. The desired. The more authentic. The future that you've been longing for. Go there now. Think about that. Just think about there. Just think about what that version of you or your life, is like and why you want it and let yourself enjoy it. Let yourself consider who you might be in it, how you would feel and think about you. Does it feel right, as in true? Is that how you want to know you? If yes, expand upon that. Expand upon that. Expand upon what you want to know. Resonate with it, which means, of course, allowing it. Stop looking for someone else, even your higher self, to tell you what you want. What you want is clear to you. Stop apologizing for what you want. Want what you want. Want what you want and believe in yourself as a divine being. A divine expression of creation. 
A divine perfection of energy focused here, now, and let yourself use the here or now experience to inform you. It is, already, so let it be and let what you want out of it, be right. It is right for you, you're knowing it, that's the feeling of I want that, so go with it. You know what you want in relationship to your life here. You know what you like and what you want. Why are you resisting who you want to be? Why do you doubt who you want to know yourself as? Stop listening to anyone else's ideas about who you are and listen to you. Honor you. Love you. Listen to that knowing within you that wants what it wants. Go into what you want. Think about what you want. Talk about what you want and see yourself in IT. See yourself in what you want and let what you want, be here now as you. Line up with it. Let it shape your way of relating to life. Expect it. See it coming in. See it filling in, notice what is showing up of it, and savor it and let the rest come in too. These are the ways of being a masterful creator. You might think, oh, Archangel Michael, this sounds a lot like the law of attraction. Well, guess what? It is. It is the law of attraction. You've already remembered that you are divine, now live it. Now create from the source that you are. Create, 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 have fun, have fun, have fun, as you. Generate the brilliance of that sovereign alignment and flow of expression that is you, yielding to what you know to be true for you. You making you the author and authority here and now. This sovereign alignment is how you come in, here, more and more. How you let the total you arise here and now, by being in ways that you want to be. We are aware of your resistance to this. We know you have spent a lot of your life denying your desires. We know you have lived a long time keeping the things you want being on the far horizon. Didn't you realize that when you embraced who you truly are, that gap was going to close? We know you want it, but now that we're saying, you're free, go for it you're acting a bit lit you're still locked down. You're going to close the gap by making your desires real and important to you, and learning how to vibe to them. You've got to practice this until it becomes natural to you, to be an energy match for your expandedness, the version of you that you cherish and love and want to know, here. We know that there are a lot of other kinds of messages out there for you, especially in ascension or spiritual circles. We're offering a way to close that gap now and get on with your living, your divine expression. There are going to continue to be people who tell you, clear the way first. There will be ones that say, do this exercise first and focus in this way and listen to this meditation each day and run this light through your body, etc. Use this for that. Do this and get that. Do this first, and then you will be free. Now, you can do those things, if you like. If they make you feel good and you are happy doing them, then do them. But they are not your liberation, you are, through and as choices you make in consciousness. It is you, deciding that you matter and you are wonderful that is the beginning of stepping beyond all those things which might be distractions from facing what you want and giving yourself enough love that you permit yourself to be who you want to be. So we're putting you on notice here and now that our focus has turned to divine expression and you being the fifth dimensional you or even more expanded, here and now. We're turning our attention to you as the creator you are, and that aspect of you being allowed to come forth. To show up here. We're turning all of our focus toward the liberation of light in the flow of your expression as the divine signature of creation that is you. You, in the wisdom of your focus, are drawn toward what is going to give you joy and what's going to light you further up and open up your capacities, and we see that as something a you're ready for and be, more fun. We're following your lead. We are shifting with you. The leading edge of humanity is shifting to claim creator authority. You don't have to join in, but we think it would be very fun if you did. Step into you. Step into the you that you long to be, the you that you wish you were now. Just do it. Stop making yourselves wrong and stop pushing your happiness endlessly out into the future after you complete some things you think you have to do. How? Stop buying into the limitations here. We can tell you the limitations are illusions or constructs or ideas from separation, 
but if you still pay attention to them as if they matter and are real and important? We can't stop you from doing that. Only you can. Cut the cords that you've got hooked into a version of life that you want to be over. Withdraw your energy from it and energize what you want to experience. Make what you want real and important. Think about it and feel it surging within you as energy and flow. Eclipse the past by energizing the present and let that new vision flow and unfold your next moment. We recognize this as the time for Divine Masters to emerge. We see Divine Masters creating confidently, and playfully. We see that emerging, and we are pivoting with you, beyond ideas of remembering your Divine, into the thing you do with that remembering, live. I am Archangel Michael with the Council of Radiant Light.